guys happy Sunday it is a beautiful sunny day it's rooftop season baby like I feel like spring is springing summer is just around the corner I'm so excited it also means that I have about five minutes to film in my car before my camera overheats so I'm just gonna get right to it um I have not picked up my camera in a couple of weeks and if you've seen my last video a lot has happened a lot has been going on and yeah I was like I don't really know where to start with this intro but I feel like I should just start kind of where my last video left off and so I'm not gonna like go into the weeds of the last video but if you did not see that video or if like this is your first video of mine that you're finding basically I posted a video talking about how I feel really lost right now in my life overall specifically in like my professional career and I'm just like not really sure what I want to do with my life Ugh, I don't want to like work for somebody else for the rest of my life, but I don't like know what else I want to do Just kind of like been in that rut for I'm honestly still in it So it's been over a month. I've just been like really kind of struggling with next steps in my life And so yeah, I think I've just like naturally not been super motivated to film because my mental health is like definitely taken kind of a hit from just feeling really lost right now I think before I even say anything else I just have to say that I posted that video with no expectations. I actually posted that video really thinking that it wasn't gonna get a lot of traction because I didn't know if a lot of people could like relate to what I was talking about. But you guys, I was absolutely blown away by the response of that video. So many comments on that video, so many people reached out to me on Instagram just saying, oh my God, I feel the same way. Like I wasn't expecting it. I seriously had no expectations for that video of anything I thought it was gonna kind of like flop, but it was kind of insane the response that it got and that made me feel I don't want to say better because obviously it doesn't make me feel good to know that other people are kind of like struggling in this phase of life or maybe like not knowing what they want to do with their life. That doesn't make me feel good, okay? But it makes me feel, it, it gives me comfort knowing that I'm not like in this boat alone, right? Like we all kind of don't know what we're doing with our life, I think a little bit. And so, yeah, I just, I first wanted to say thank you if you found my channel from that video. Welcome back to another one and thank you so much for your support on that video. It was, it was so incredible. It like truly like I could cry looking at the comments because yeah I've just felt really isolated the last month or so and I'm not gonna get into the specifics of like what happened at work that like caused this little spiral it's in the video though if you are interested or if just the topic of kind of like being in a rut with your career or professional life um, is interesting to you I would go watch that video and honestly like read the comments because it will probably make you feel a lot better if anything it will make you feel less alone because it definitely did that to me so I'm not gonna go into the details but the point is that I'm still figuring it out and still kind of feeling unsure of my next steps professionally and just kind of coasting right now and figuring it out. But knowing that this is an interesting subject to, it seems like a lot of you, I will keep you updated on my journey, whether, you know, um, I, you know, stay in what I'm doing now or if I make the leap into do something different. Like, I don't really know. Right now, I'm just kind of taking it day by day, honestly, and just trying to find little good things in every day like I think it can be hard and I'm such a like all or nothing person and it's really hard for me to like compartmentalize things so like if I don't if I feel lost in like a section of my life I kind of like let that take over other sections and pieces of my life so I'm really trying to not do that I may not have everything figured out in my professional life but I can still make the most of my personal life and just like you know thrive in other areas and so that's kind of the mindset I'm taking going forward. I'm going to take you along for a Sunday. We are, we're going to fight the Sunday scaries together and just make the most of the day. I'm going to go run some errands. I'm going to grab myself a coffee. We're just going to have a little day, a little self-care evening together. And I'm excited to be vlogging. And I just, yeah, I know this was a long intro, but I really did want to address that last video I posted because the response was just so lovely and meant so much to me. And so I wanted to one, say thank you. And two, just kind of give you an update on like where I'm at mentally since that video because I know it's been a couple of weeks and I am sorry for that. I really had every intention of getting more consistent with vlogging and like picking up my camera. But you guys, when you are like in the thick of a funk and like struggling mentally, it is so hard to pick up the camera. Like I feel like I would pick up the camera. I tried multiple days to like pick up the camera and I was like, I don't even know what to say. I, who am I to be talking? Like I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Who wants to listen to me? Like you just like start to spiral and that's kind of why you haven't seen a video from me since that last one, but we're vlogging today. We're back. Um, 
and we're gonna get through it together. I can tell it's getting hot because my camera starts to overheat after like five minutes of talking and it's telling me that it's overheating. So I'm gonna take that as my cue to wrap up the intro, but I'm really happy you're here and I'm excited to spend the day with you. Okay, overpriced coffee is secured. I went to Barista Parlor, I sat down for a little bit and just enjoyed the coffee. Now I'm heading to the mall because they have to make a return and it's actually perfect because I recorded my response of putting this dress on, but I ordered two dresses from Abercrombie for like wedding season stuff. Like we have our um, engagement photos coming up at the end of the month on March 30th. And then also I wanted a dress for wedding dress shopping with my mom and Chandler's mom, um, which we actually did a couple weekends ago when I found my wedding dress. I know that's total sidebar, but yeah, I wanted like a cute dress to like do that activity. And I ordered this dress. <laughs> I'm just gonna like, just, just let the footage roll here, okay? Y'all, my hopes. <laughs> My hopes were so high. This looked so cute on the website. I look like a freaking pilgrim. I literally look like I just hopped off the Mayflower. It's giving nothing. It's literally, it's giving nothing. This white dress can legit get out of my face and I feel like it was the most expensive one. $200, $200. It was honestly, it was honestly comical to me because I was so sure that that dress was gonna be like the one that I was gonna wear for our photos. Like I was like, oh my God, this is gorgeous. It's so beautiful. The way that I look like I'm about to just churn butter, like it was not giving like girly little engagement photos. So I will be returning this today. Um, I am really excited to have that $200 credit back on my card. It was so expensive and it looked so cute on the model, on the website. It's just, it, it's not for my body and that's okay, so. I'm gonna go return that. I might stop into Half Price Books because I just I just saw that Carter Sullivan posted a five-star thriller read, her first five-star thriller read of 2024. And oh gosh, what is it called? Mm, For the Last Time by Heidi Perks. I've never heard of this, but I will literally do whatever Carter tells me to do. Like I have purchased my last few thriller books from her and I've loved all of her recommendations. And so I might stop into Half Price Books and see if they have that book. I don't really wanna spend full price on books because I have so, like I'm, I'm accumulating books and I'm like not reading them as quickly as I'm accumulating them. But it just like makes me happy when I come home with a new book. So if I can get it for like a decent price at Half Price Books, maybe I'll, maybe I'll snatch that. But um, yeah, I'm just kind of like seeing where the wind blows today. I'm kind of just like up for whatever I don't want to spend money like I don't want to go to the mall like I obviously I'm gonna go to the mall to return this but I don't want to like shop around and like spend a bunch of money on a full priced clothes so we'll try a half price bookstore maybe we'll go to like a couple of thrift shops I don't know we're just gonna see we're gonna see where the vibe takes us also I'm just in my Taylor Swift era I just have her on shuffle and I'm listening to like all of these throwbacks and it's just putting me it's putting me in the best mood so I will be jamming I'm like taking back roads and taking the long way for everything because I'm just enjoying just blaring my music and driving around in my car like that is just it's just it's such a vibe i'm just having i'm having such a good day so we're gonna continue with it i just had to share about that dress because the way that i thought that that was gonna be the one that was gonna be our engagement photo dress no 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 They did not have what I went in there for, but I still snagged two books. I do not need these. I really did not need these. I got a romance and I got a thriller. I feel like my TBR, when I think about it, it's like only like murder, death, psychological thriller. Like they're all, they're all pretty dark. So I was like, okay, I need a romance. Just like a, a little cheeky love novel. Just to like give myself a little break. Cause it, it gets bad. I definitely have like a brand and I, my brand is like thriller. I like to be on the edge of my seat when I read books. And so that's why I just typically go for thrillers. And so this one is right up my alley. It's Frida McFadden's The Coworker. I just finished The Housemaid by her and it was just, it was so solid. It was just a really solid thriller, solid page turner. I really enjoyed that one and I liked her writing style. So I'm gonna give this one a go. I um, looked up a couple of reviews. I don't know, I didn't want any spoilers, but the reviews look to be pretty good online. So I'm gonna give this one a try. And then for my little break from um, murder and decapitation and all of that, I got We Will Always Have Summer by Jenny Han. This is what the, um, 
Prime series to all the boys I've loved before is based on, which I have already watched, but I still want to read the book. I loved the series, and so I'm intrigued by the book. So there's my little treat for myself. I just love going in there and like reading the backs of books and just like relaxing, having a coffee. It's just, it's so nice. I love that place. So I'm gonna head to the mall. I'm gonna pick up Chandler and I some dinner as well, and we're just gonna continue on with this little self care Sunday. Oh, this looks so good. Nice. Just adding them to the stack. These are the two that I'm kind of trying to work my way through first. This is another one that Carter uh, sold and recommended as a five-star thriller. So I started this one. I love it so far. I'm only like 40 pages in on this, but I really, really love it. I'm going to try to make some good headway on this one this week. And then this is the second one that I'm reading. And I found this one at Half Price Bookstore and I had never heard of it before, but I read the... Um, dust cover and it just sounded really interesting so making my way through that one as well and then and then we'll see what the vibe is for the next reads but this is kind of where I put all the books that are on my list <laughs> anxiety starts to go crazy because I feel like it's like getting closer and closer to the work week and my Sunday scares just like start to act up I feel like I'm frustrated because I was in such a good mood today and just feeling really positive about the day and I'm still in a good mood but I just like I have this like pit in my stomach knowing that the weekend's coming to an end I know you guys probably know what I'm talking about um and it's just frustrating because I've always been the type of person who really thinks that like living for the weekend is wasting your life in a way because that's like five days that you're kind of wishing away. But I'm like frustrated with myself because I feel like lately, especially within the last like a month or so that I've been going through this little professional rut, I've more and more just been like waiting for the weekend and feeling like... I'm wishing away the week and I hate that. I literally hate that. I just like don't know how to get past it. This is what I'm talking about. I'm curious to know what you do um, to fight the Sunday scaries. Like if you have certain rituals that you do every Sunday, I feel like I have some non-negotiables and I did most of them today. Having a slow morning is really important to me. I don't like to feel rushed on Sunday. I also like to feel like I did something productive. I'm not saying that I have to have like a day where I clean my whole house and like reset entirely, but just like doing anything that makes me feel like I accomplished something. So like today returning something at Abercrombie and like getting some books from half price bookstores, like those little things where I left my house, I just like got something done, makes me feel really good. I've like tried the Sundays where I don't leave my house and like just binge watch Netflix and stuff and I never feel good about myself. I always feel like I wasted the day away. And so those type of Sundays don't work good for me. I really do like to get something accomplished on Sunday, whatever that means. Some days it's a lot more. Some days it is cleaning my entire house. Some days it's literally just going to the post office or like doing one little thing that just makes me feel good about myself. Um, so I've kind of done that. I did also like start laundry and clean up around my room. You guys saw my room this morning. That is not a good way to go into the week. I feel like if my space is cluttered, my mind is cluttered and I'm just like starting, I'm starting behind. So I got that done. I, I really feel like I've done everything I know to do and I'm still just feeling meh. So I don't really know. I don't really know if there's a fix. I think we're just gonna have to kind of push through this one, but I'm still gonna try to make the most of the night and Maybe I'll see if Chandler wants to have like a little movie night. That could be fun. Oh, I also did something really important. I, hold on one sec. 
everything came in the mail this week and I got everything kind of compiled for my bridesmaids boxes. So let me show you what I got. A lot of this stuff was from small businesses on Etsy. So I'll link those below. I love Etsy for just like personalized little things like this. Um, this is for my friend Becca. I have to mail this to her because she is, she lives in Houston, but I got her this little makeup pouch. This is so cute. This was so reasonable to get it personalized and everything. I also got her a little candle and it says matron of honor. Got her the summer Fridays lip balm, a face roller. I kind of made it like mini travel sized themes. I also have like a way um, little conditioner because they're gonna have to travel for my wedding. So I wanted to like make it, I don't know, just like things that they could put in their suitcase to travel and then I got these uh, hair ties that say to have and to hold how freaking cute I got some of these for myself too because I thought they were so cute and then oh my god my favorite part this little Polaroid I think these were like these were like four bucks each I got them on Etsy and it comes with this little envelope so stinking cute so I'm gonna make this look cute I have to mail out two and then my other bridesmaid actually lives in Nashville so I'll just like give her hers but yeah, I got all of this stuff compiled today so that made me feel that made me feel good as well that sun is peeking through. I will say the longer days that has drastically been helping my mental health. I do feel like whenever it got dark at like five, the Sundays were way, way worse because I just feel like you lost so much of the day or like you felt like you lost so much of the day. So I am grateful for that. I am curious though. What do you do um, for your Sunday scaries? What do you do to just like make yourself feel better on Sundays whenever you're kind of like having anxiety about going into a work week? Comment it below because I I need all the tips I can get. Some Sundays are worse than others, I will say. I feel like since I've been in this little like work funk that I talked about in my last video, I've just been like dreading the work weeks a little bit more because they're just like, my work weeks look a little bit different now. Um, and they're just like a little bit more rigid. And so I don't know. I think I just like overthink on Sundays and like build up potential scenarios that could happen. And it's, it's not good and I can't help it, but I'm going to try to. I think what might make me feel better is just like a little movie night. We've been doing a lot of like shows and suits, but I feel like I don't like fully lock in sometimes whenever we're just like binge watching shows. So maybe like a movie where I'm like fully locked in. Maybe we can do like popcorn. Ooh. Ooh. You want to have a movie night? You want to make popcorn? We don't have our wedding planned yet, but we are planning our honeymoon. That is definitely the bachelor mansion. Oh my yeah, God. That's one of them. What? Where is that? Costa Rica. Costa Rica? I don't think that they filmed in Costa Rica. Mm, 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 mm. Only eight months away. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Missy. You ready for our movie night? All right, go get cozy. When a lone traveler flees the city looking for a fresh start, she meets a sadistic stalker who tries to make the wilderness her final destination. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm gonna take this bow and throw it 